and gentlemen, the pleb is back. In today's report, as I predicted, the Liberal Party have released their attack ad on Pierre Polyev using Alex Jones, and it's absolutely hilarious. As well, tonight, Justin Trudeau describes himself as the Wayne Gretzky of politics and describes his policies as genius. And in our last story, Rebel News' reporter David Menzies has been arrested again this weekend at a pro-Palestine protest. You won't want to miss tonight's story. Stick around. Before we start tonight's report, folks, please double check if you're still subscribed. I'm still receiving hundreds of comments underneath my videos of people saying they were unsubscribed from this channel against their own will. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, smash the subscribe button So I'm going to tell you the news the mainstream media won't. And a quick reminder, today there is a giant solar eclipse here happening all over Canada. And for those of you that are going to watch it, please be careful with your eyes. Me personally, I don't really care about this eclipse. The only eclipse I care about is this eclipse that is coming soon in 2025. Pierre Polyev eclipsing Trudeau out of politics. Can't wait. Tonight's report will kick off with this Alex Jones endorsement saga. Now, if you guys don't remember the tweet, Alex Jones put this out a couple of days ago and it went super viral. He wrote, been following this guy for years and he is the real deal. Canada desperately needs a lot more leaders like him and so does the rest of the world. Now, you can call the left many things here in Canada, but one thing I like to call them is predictable. And a couple of episodes ago on my show, I predicted exactly this. Now, Pierre Polyev can control what people say about him on the internet, but if I was a betting man, and I actually am, I would say that the Liberal Party are probably going to release an attack ad on Pierre Polyev, including this Alex Jones statement. You could take it to the bank. Now, I'm not going to give myself credit for this prediction because that was probably the easiest prediction of all time. And over the weekend, the Pierre Polyev attack ad, including Alex Jones's endorsement, came out. And it's pretty hilarious. We've got uh, the new Canadian leader set to beat Trudeau. Uh, who's totally anti-New World Order. I mean, you look all over the world. We are rising right now, but that concerns me because the deep state globalists are going to throw out everything they've got. They're going to pull out all the stops. <laughs> look at the face they use of Alex Jones. <laughs> they chose the perfect face, too. We've look. Got, uh, the new Canadian leader is set to beat Trudeau. Uh, who's totally anti-New World Order. Look I at mean, his you face. all over the world. We are rising right now, but that concerns uh, me because the deep state globalists are going to throw out everything they've got. They're going to pull out all the stops. And the best part about this clip is that everything he said is correct. They are globalists. They are trying to seize as much control as possible. Where's the lie? It's funny, the liberals are getting absolutely desperate here. Like I said before, Pierre Polyev can't control who endorses him. But if you guys want to play that game, who remembers when Klaus Schwab endorsed Justin Trudeau? What we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. <laughs> and even crazier than that, a couple of months ago, Justin Trudeau received a glaring endorsement from the leader of a terrorist organization. Yes, watch Hamas show their praise for Justin Trudeau. By Canada, Australia, and the New Zealand backing sustainable ceasefire in Gaza. We welcome these uh, developments and consider them in the mm -hmm. right direction toward isolation, the fascist, is fascist Israeli government globally <laughs> and ending the longer ever occupy, occupation in our modern time. Now, in the world I live in called reality, I think it's way worse to get endorsed by Hamas than it is a right-wing podcaster. But according to this dumb dumb in parliament, Talib Nur Mohammed, he does not agree. Watch. 
It all started with this tweet here from Sarah Fisher talking about the conservatives canvassing this weekend and tiny brain to here writes, and how do they feel about Alex Jones and his conspiracy theories? And he gets absolutely owned here by a man by the name of Gareth Jones, who writes probably the same way they feel about the liberals funding Hamas, a known terrorist organization. Talib then tries to reply and writes, one of the things one of the things is not like the other Gareth. Alex Jones is a conspiracy theorist and has endorsed Polyev. <laughs> Gareth Jones ratios him here on the reply and saying and Hamas is a terrorist organization that has killed thousands that's funded by Canadian taxpayers I don't want my tax dollars going to fund a terrorist groups thanks Talib I don't want my tax dollars going to fund any war for that matter but you don't want to hear that because there's no profit in peace Oh my God, it gets better though. Talib responds, they're not, but you refuse to look at facts for reasons I cannot understand. Gareth Jones writes, Hamas are not terrorists. And Tiny Brain Talib writes, of course they are. So yes, folks, the left is staying consistent here. The whole words are violence crowd, well... They actually believe that. They think that Alex Jones, a podcaster, is worse than a terrorist organization which has killed thousands of people. Welcome to Liberal Clown World. And on the topic of Clown World, a clip has emerged today on social media that may be the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen, where Justin Trudeau compares himself to the Wayne Gretzky of politics and describes his policies as genius. Watch. The most delusional man in the world. Watch. And seeing where the puck is going, well, I can talk about a great Edmonton Oiler who, who did a very good job of that for, for many years. Um, I know we're not going to get too many uh, uh, Oilers fans here. Uh, but, uh, you know... <laughs> The Canadian genius is to go where the puck is going, not where it is right now. Uh, the world is changing, and Albertans can and should be at the forefront of that. And that's exactly uh, where I'm going to be always with an outreach hand uh, and partnership to build it. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch this again. And seeing where the puck is going, well. Well. Well, zoom in on this. Zoom in here. Puck is going. Well, wow. can talk about a great Edmonton Oiler who, who did a very good job of that for, for many years. Um, I know we're not going to get too many uh, uh, Oilers fans here. Uh, he literally sees himself as the Wayne Gretzky of politics, the greatest hockey player that has ever lived. In Justin Trudeau's mind, he's the greatest prime minister Canada has ever had. This may be the most delusional man in this entire country. Incredible. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, the Canadian genius is to go where the puck is going, not where it is right now. Uh, the Canadian genius describing himself as a genius. <laughs> Man, okay, let's get through this. Uh, the world is changing, and Albertans can and should be at the forefront of that. And that's exactly uh, where I'm going to be always with an outreach hand oh. uh, and partnership to build it. He's so cringe. And seeing where the puck is going? Well, this guy is so ridiculous. And as far as Justin Trudeau comparing himself to the Wayne Gretzky of politics and describing his policies as genius, Canadians had some comments about Justin Trudeau's words here, and we're going to go read them. Dank Well writes here two words that should never be used in the same sentence, Trudeau and genius, right? Benjamin Barry writes, I'm not sure Wayne Gretzky would appreciate being compared to him. Puck goes one way, his policies go the other way, LOL. Shortages of houses, bring more people in, rising debt and interest, spend more, people can't afford things, tax them more. And he tagged Justin Trudeau. Free Lion writes, did he just insinuate he is a Canadian genius? LOL, 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 LOL. 
basically my exact reaction. And if it ain't woke, don't fix it, writes, except Justin Trudeau misses 100% of the shots he does take. Absolutely perfect comment. So yes, folks, Trudeau truly thinks he's doing a great job, that he's the greatest Canadian politician that there's ever been, and that his policies are so genius. Does it get any more delusional than this? And in this clown world called Canada, over the weekend in Toronto, there were multiple pro-Palestine protests. And of course, sticking to traditions, the Toronto police didn't arrest any of the Palestine people. They arrested a man wearing a Canadian flag. Watch. Shout out to Karima for the footage here. Dude gets arrested for having a sign that says Hamas is a terrorist organization. This is how the Toronto police are reacting. It's sickening. I'm gonna go to dry hunger and I'm gonna go to dry hunger and Oh man. Just a little space, thank you. Yeah, you can, but you can do it over here. We honestly live in such a clown country, and it's the reason I do this channel, because we need to wake up as Canadians. How the hell is this acceptable? It's absolutely absurd. And at the same protest this weekend, look what, what, what a protester was wearing here. A protester showed up with a fake, can't even use the word, unaliving vest, right? Look at his vest here. And the cops, they did absolutely nothing. And according to a former veteran Toronto police inspector on Greg Brady's show, he confirms that wearing a series of smoke canisters at a protest does warrant arrest for breach of peace. Now, when it comes to Palestine, I feel bad for the innocent kids and the innocent Palestinians who are now at war when they did nothing themselves. But these Palestine protests truly are attracting some of the most disgusting, ridiculous people. Look who showed up to support the Palestine movement in Toronto. Sickle and hammer. Wait, what? We the communists are here? Oh, um, I think Canada has a communism problem. What do you guys think? How come there's no attractive people in this march for the record? Has there ever been a good looking communist? Let me know in the comments. No commies. The streets don't belong to you. They belong to Canadians. And I'm going to use my influence on this channel to make sure that there is never a communist that gets elected in this country. Are you kidding me? This country is obviously screwed up. I mean, Saturday, the Toronto police are arresting Salman with a Canadian flag and a Hamas is a terrorist organization sign. They're allowing these communists to just march freely down our streets, trying to destroy Canada. And yesterday, the Toronto police arrested David Menzies again for doing his job. Journalism. Watch. Watch your hands. We have your hands. Watch wow. your hands. He just oh, watch your hands. Wow. Look at that there. Looks like they're the ones, look Look where this guy's hand is. They're pushing his phone or his camera, his microphone, and now Dave Menzies is the one who's going to get arrested.
Clown World, watch. Don't put your hands on me. They can chant genocide in the street, and I can't cover that. Obey your oath, officer. Obey your oath. Will you get? Listen, if I'm on the other side, get your hands off. Okay, then I will take. Okay, put your phone down. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for refusing to leave. Okay. We're going to lock you to the wagon, Mr. Man. Good boy. Efren, are you catching this? Yeah. Once again, you can have a full from chance genocide in the streets of our democracy. You're under arrest for refusing to leave premises, okay, Mr. Man? It's a public place. This is literally the public square. This is literally... I've asked you numerous times. I try to be as nice as possible. Wow. You can have class authority, okay? You can have, you know. They assaulted me and you did nothing. They assaulted that is me true. and you did nothing. They did grab his phone and his camera. Return to us more than that. Return to us more than that. Stop assaulting her. Stop talking to me. Return to the police. Why are you catching this? Yeah. Why are you catching this? Okay, now they've taken my phone and they've taken my hat. He's got your phone box. You can change genocide on this street. More absolute insanity from the Toronto police. And according to Ezra Levant. The same guy who arrested Salman on Saturday is the same police officer that arrested David Menzies yesterday. Coincidence? And according to citizen journalist Karim Assad, David Menzies' famous hat was in police custody too. That's pretty funny. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it here on the question of the day. What did you guys think of Justin Trudeau describing himself as the Wayne Gretzky of politics and calling his policies genius? I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below what you thought of Justin Trudeau's statement, because I'm looking forward to a good laugh. And if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to support me, well, the number one way to do it is to keep watching my videos. But if you want to support me more, share this video out with your friends. Smash the like button. Tell your friends about the pleb. Heck, you can even buy a $5 Canadian membership to this channel. My name is the pleb, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ow, ow, ow. Show them, girl, yeah, boom. Ah, ah,